Did you know college is being written up in the New York Times as a scam? Americans are losing faith in the value of college. Whose fault is that? For most people, the new economics of higher education make going to college a risky bet. I come from a generation where going to college was the mark of a great idea. Uh, you went to college, you got some of an education, and then you came out with your degree. You could work indoors, air-conditioned building, in an executive position, managerial position, or a sales position and work your way up. If you, uh, if you get your degree in a STEM kind of field, you're going to do fine. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. But the problem is college kept raising the prices, making the dorms luxurious. I did not have a luxurious dorm. Offering sushi on Tuesdays and Panda Express and McDonald's and fast foods. You, you think, Kayvon, fast food, that's cheap. It's not cheap to buy it and give it to the students when indeed we had slop. Here is a spoonful of mashed potatoes. What's cheaper, you think? A couple uh, cheeseburgers and fries or a scoop of mashed potatoes and there's some lettuce and tomato over there. Go get yourself some of that salad bar. So that's what we had. So you start adding um, a bounce house on opening. We did not have a bounce house at opening week. You start offering a zip line across campus, a rock climbing wall. This is amazing. It's almost like a, not a campus. It's like a weekend adventure. You offer sex classes, free sex toys. You offer change your gender weekend. You offer camp outs. You offer speakers coming in. Dylan Mulvaney, $40,000 a pop. And then something has to give. Tuition keeps going up. We're giving you all this value. Turns out there's no value at the end of the rainbow. You had a $40,000 a year of fun. Then you did that again and again and again. Four years at $40,000, $160,000 in debt. You don't have any money yet. Maybe you have rich parents. Most students put it on their thing. Now you're hoping Joe Biden will forgive your debt because now you can barely work at Starbucks. You got the purple hair, the nose ring you got tattoos all across your forehead and you're like no one wants to hire me this college was a scam and so you're begging the american taxpayer to bail you out of your bad decision but here's the thing didn't the radical left mock trump university do you know what trump university did they promised you like a real estate course a seminar and if you went through all the steps you can go do it so many people didn't do well in real estate that they sued trump said it was his fault that they couldn't sell any homes and made him pay the price. And that's one of the big feathers in their cap. But they don't see the connection that now they have millions of people going to college, can't get a job, aren't successful, don't want to sue the university. They want to sue the American people, say, you bail me out. And somehow it's still our fault. Maybe if you guys go and sue your colleges, the way you sued Trump University, then we will have your back. And you can get your money back from Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Vanderbilt, and every other school in between. Do you agree with me? Put it in the comments. If not, call me a stupid, racist, white, bigoted idiot, even though I'm the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. <laughs>